day 16, Ruth, chapter 1 to 4. Do your, oh sorry, by your blood you ransom people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. Revelation chapter 5 verse 9b. The Israelites wandered in the wilderness for 40 years until God brought them to the land he had promised them. There they lived and worked and built the nation of Israel and they worshipped the one true God. Ruth lived in a country next to Israel called Moab. She married a man from Israel. The man and his family had left their home in Bethlehem because of a famine. But when Ruth's husband died, Ruth had to make a hard choice. She, she could go back with her husband's mother, Naomi, to Israel. Oh, sorry. She could go back to her family and worship the pretend gods they worshipped. Or she could go with her husband's mother, Naomi, to Israel. Naomi was poor and she had nothing to offer. But Ruth loved Naomi and believed in God. Ruth made a decision. She told Naomi, your people shall be my people and your God my God. Ruth chapter 1 verse 16. They went to Israel together to Bethlehem. Ruth was a foreigner and the people of Israel did not trust Moabites. They were, there were probably many people who were not kind to her. But a man named Boaz did a kind thing for Ruth and Naomi. Boaz grew barley and wheat. One day Ruth went to his field to see if his workers had left any grain behind. Boaz learned who she was. He knew she loved Naomi and trusted in God. He told his workers to protect her and leave extra grain for her. He told Ruth she could come to his field and gather grain every day. Because of Boaz, Ruth and Naomi had food when they were hungry. Later, Ruth asked Boaz to take care of her so she and Naomi would always have what they needed. And Boaz did. He loved Ruth and married her. And they had a son named Obed. Obed became the grandfather of Israel's greatest king. Who was that? No, who was the great the greatest king in Israel? Oh, um, what was David? David. Yeah, King David. No, that was... Obed's son was Jesse. Yeah. Oh. So Obed became the grandfather of Israel's greatest king, David. Even though Ruth was not an Israelite, she trusted God, and God made her the great-grandmother of a king. Wait, so David wasn't even fully Israelite? No. From her family line, another son would come, the king of all kings, born as a baby in Bethlehem, just like Obed. Do you know the name of the king of kings, born as a baby in Bethlehem? Mm -hmm. Who was born as a baby in Bethlehem? Mary! Uh, uh, no, Mary Jesus. 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 Jesus, that's right. All done. All done.